Hey everybody, it's Reverend David. We've been out of the building and this place has been shut down for a couple of weeks now. So I came back into our empty house to give you a quick tour of some of the areas in the building that we don't get to see a lot of, even when we are here in person. Starting with the minister's study, the old minister's study in the bell tower. If you've ever been here in the sanctuary on a Sunday morning and you've looked up, this must be the south wall on this side, the Hull Chapel side, right? There are these two windows up in the wall, not stained glass, but windows that lead to something. And today we're gonna to figure out how we get up there. And I am joined in this by my trusty companion. Hey, pilot, say hello to everybody. That is the maximally energetic pilot gets. Well, here we go. We're headed through the sanctuary and we're gonna go up the steps into Hull Chapel. Come on, pilot. And we're going through a hall now. We're cutting around into the bell tower room. Now, the bell tower room is mostly full of chairs. This is where all our chairs and tables live for coffee hour and for the children's choir when they come and a few hundred kids come through singing a couple times a week. This is also the old entrance. Uh, so this door, which we don't really use, but I'll open it because here we are. This is the door that leads out to 57th Street. So here we are along the side of Hull Chapel, 57th Street. We don't use it too much because it's not accessible. And not all the concrete on those steps is in great shape. Back inside here, this door, you may have been through, this leads to VOV Library, but this door, this is the door up and into the bell tower and the door we're gonna take. All right, you come in with me, pilot? No, chair smells are too exciting. So we come in and we head up the stairway. Oh, but I should show you before we go up. Here's this weird little door. So, so I just came through, right? I'm coming through into this stairwell and there's a door here. This is the elevator. Now you may not have known that this building has an elevator. When it was built in 1931, construction was 29 to 31, they built this elevator specifically to go up the bell tower to the minister's study. All right, let's follow him up. So here we go up. Come on, Pike, go ahead. Lead the way, bud. So here's our, our, uh, our landing stop for the elevator. But here we keep going up all the way up to the top of these stairs and the bell tower. Let's switch our view here. <laughs> so I'm unlocking the door to the minister's study. Now here's where the elevator would have come out at the top. It has long, long since been non-functional, like decades and decades and decades. But the other thing that we've got here is the other side of this window out and down into the sanctuary. Coming into the old minister's study, here we are. This beautiful bookshelf lined room with lots of light. Uh, it had its own bathroom Currently, the bathroom is holding the minister's desk from uh, 1931. Easier than moving it down the stairs. It used to be out in the room, uh, except you couldn't really do anything else in this room except for sit at the desk, because it's not a huge room. Now, the window from the minister's study out into the sanctuary, this is just like the one we opened a minute ago. It's boarded up because this year our uh, middle school, our youth group, is meeting up here. So it helps insulate the sound a little bit. But almost all of the aspects of this building, uh, Von Ogden Vogt, the minister who was here in the later 20s and then the 30s and the 40s, built with a particular sort of idea or symbolic idea in mind. And part of what's going on in this bell tower study is that the minister, but more broadly the ministry of the church, is perched in this in-between space with one eye inwards into the congregation looking in there, and then the other eye 
looking out into the community. So here is this door and this funny little porch to stand on. Terry and I joke sometimes, this is like our Pope porch that we can just come out and give addresses on. We haven't actually done that. Um, but even better, let me take you out onto the roof here. So this is the roof over uh, VOV Library now. And I'm actually stepping out here. You can see our windows and oh, you can't pass up an opportunity. So these are the new storm windows that are over the uh, original stained glass inside. And man, they look good even at this distance. Um, so the idea is that here we are looking out over Woodlawn and 57th. And when this church was built, all four of these corners were Unitarian institutions. So this across the way, which is now a U of C building, uh, at the time was Meadville Lombard, the Unitarian Seminary. That building across the street, I'm pretty sure was student housing. I think this building here, which is Chabad now, it was, um, maybe it was the president's house or another house. But again, the idea, Von Ogden Vogt's idea was that the ministry of the church is situated in this place between the inside and the outside. That, you know, we as a people as a congregation aren't just about looking inward at ourself. And we're also not just about looking outwards at the community that's out there. It's this both and space. And he plays with this idea in other areas of the building. I'll show you some of those uh, another time. So here's the minister's study. Now, above the minister's study, I'm not gonna go up here right now, in what looks like a closet is uh, this very scary looking ladder is, I feel like there's sort of a horror movie vibe to this right now. I'm gonna close that up. But, but what it actually does is that ladder goes up to the next floor up, whose floor is above this ceiling. That space is where the youth group met in the 1980s. And I've got to show you this sometime because the walls are still covered in like album cover paints by the kids from the 1980s. The ceiling up there is probably about 20 feet and there's a regulation height basketball uh, hoop up there. I'm not really clear how it got there, but it's sort of amazing. Um, th there's also no exit from that level except for this ladder. So, you know, both from accessibility, but also like fire safety. Um, I think insurance companies are a little bit, and, and us too, right? Congregations are a little bit more savvy and wary now than we might have been in the 80s. What all else is up here to show you? It's a little bit messy right now since uh, no one's been through cleaning up, but some of, some of the stuff that if you're a church nerd uh, is very exciting. Uh, these are minutes of the Board of Trustees going back decades. So if you want to know what the board was talking about in July of 1976, uh, or what the orders of service, a lot of these are orders of service on these shelves, going back to the 60s and some even earlier. There's all kinds of the search packets um, that we've sort of collected from different areas of the building and tried to centralize all of this stuff here. All right, Pilot, what do you think about all this? This is too exciting? All right, that's our tour through the minister's study, and I'll see you next time. Be well, everybody. Take care of each other.